Hello everybody, my name is Beckett and we're playing TNT Limitless 3. And uh, first things first today, we're going to get back on the quest train. Our, uh, our nether seed crops are doing their job and I'm going to make the first beacon I've ever made. Um, let's see, what do we just need? Obsidian glass? Is that all there is to it? Oh, we need to make some glass. We need to make obsidian too. Alright, we'll go ahead and cook this up. And then we'll be back. Now the question is, where are we going to put it once that glass is finished cooking up? And I think we're going to put it right here. Let's see. Right here. So what we'll want to do, because I don't want this to just be like a big pyramid of blocks. I just kind of want to have the beacons. Um... What we're going to do is uh, a little 5x5 five five space here. And we're going to dig it down by one. And then this bottom row, we're going to go out by one more. So we've got 7x7 uh, seven seven space here. And then we're going to go down one more. And then the same thing, dig out uh, one more layer so that the bottom here is 9 by 9, right? Right. Alright, and we're just going to fill this in. We're going to use gold blocks, because I guess it doesn't matter what kind of blocks you used. I thought it used to. <laughs> or I used to think it did, is probably what I should say. Um, I'm sure it never actually mattered. So that we'll have 9x9 nine nine on the bottom. And it's, it's a full 9x9, nine nine too. you got to fill this whole mess in. And then 7x7, seven 5x3, seven, five or 5x5, five 3x3, five, three three, and finally capped with the beacon itself. Right? Right. All right. Super cool. Now we should be able to make our beacon. No? Just gotta place it. Maybe it'll give us both at once. Okay, here we are. Now I don't know if just placing it will. So let's see. Primary power, haste, speed. Oh, there it goes. Resistance, jump boost. Yeah, I kind of don't care. Um, we'll take the regen though, and we'll take resistance. Why not? I wonder what that part of it does. Really don't know what I'm doing here. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, apparently what you do, I had to look it up, you, you feed it something. Um, so if we wanted to pick resistance, We want regeneration, okay? We're gonna feed it. Click the check mark. Now we got resistance and regen around the base. And a bright shining light. We're gonna cover this stuff up with some, some trapdoors. It'll, it'll be okay. Probably should have done a little building for it. That's fine. Now that's an awful lot of quests we finished up in the last few episodes, so uh, let's see what uh, what all we're going to get here. Netherite? Oh, netherite. Cool. Okay, so I wonder why I threw the netherite on the ground. Is it not really here? Why can't I pick this up? It must not be really there. Um, let's see a glitch. We got golden apples, some scrap, little gold, warped fungus, emeralds, potion of strength, potion of swiftness, block of iron. Take that. And uh, what did we get? We got azure silver, that's cool, invar, tin, signalum, bismuth, 
Yeah, it's okay. That must just be some visual glitch. I notice the stuff goes right into your inventory now, and we have plenty of room. So, yeah, we don't have enough for that. So, let's give the loot bags a try. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Oh, all kinds of crap. Um, fancy shovel. <laughs> Blueberries. Cliff of extend time. Do we? Oh, we already know. Lead axe. Ruscus. <laughs> Valve handle. Hey, okay. Another Dominion wand. If we lose the... Uh, the one we have, that's good. Oh, a Tatar gem, huh? Once we get into blood magic, if we get into blood magic, that will be uh, that will be quite useful. Is there anything here we really want? Just some random slabs and signs and an energetic aura forge from Nature's Aura. That you might be interested in that. More spiderite. Okay. Not the greatest rewards we've ever seen. But at least we got to have fun with the little visual glitch. Whatever it is wasting netherite. You know, I moved the bedroll and I was like, check this out. This is about the weirdest glitch I've ever seen. Now we can interact with stuff, right? We're not like totally lagged out here. Yeah? Alright. Well, whatever. Yeah, I just did the netherite hoe, same thing happened. I've got the netherite on me that there's a ghost image of it. It simply isn't there. Oh, this is a great pack. That <laughs> the glitches are really something else. Where did this spider go? It killed something. I, oh, it was killing flies! That's what it was doing! That's amazing. Now it's dead. Now, thinking about Nature Zora again, um, we got... Some of, oh, that's the Forbidden and Arcana. There's the Nature Zora. Tainted gold. And that should unlock some stuff for us. Let's see... Maybe it's under natural practices. Offering to the gods. Yes, this is nice. Strongest and most powerful beings. I don't know who the gods are. We'll need a spirit of calling, and we'll need some of these tokens. Make the spirit of calling. No, it's just, we just bottle ghost, bottle sunlight, some of this gold, some of this iron. Now, we don't have a renewable source of this, and the only way to get it is with this natural altar infusion. What the Crimson Altar is, <clears throat> is uh, it'll tell you here in the book, it's basically the same thing we built outside here in the overworld. Where is it? Um, but we have to build it in the nether, and it uses, the multi-block uses some different blocks. It uses... Uh, Nether bricks, red nether bricks, golden nether bricks, and warped planks. And we'll have to make another one of those uh, natural altar blocks. Now, one of the items we got as a reward, um, at some point anyway, was uh, was this aura trove. And I think it's the, the top tier. It's sort of like the battery for the mod. Um, you know, the Batania rings are similar, the ones that hold mana. Now, if we had nature's mend on something, which we don't, um, we might be able to get it on the sword. That would actually help us out a lot. Can't put it on the tinker stuff. You know, I'm, I'm, I got to tell you, so it's like the, the ability with silence to actually enchant those, combined with the apotheosis enchantment stacking. Like, I feel like tinker's is obsolete. Okay. Go ahead and make the block. There we go. That one was big enough, fortunately. <laughs> Should 
get our altar in a second here. Emma. Come on, sun's going down. My own fault for not watching. That's this thing's fault for not moving fast enough. There we go. Now we filled this thing up as much as we could. We drained the altar pretty well. And as you can see, we drained the area around it, too. Um, we're going to fill it up the rest of the way here. And you, you can see how quickly now the, <clears throat> the leaves on the tree are decaying. And that's fine, because we're going to need some of this wood anyway. So we might as well chop down at least one of them. All right, looks like we're done here. You just uh, you put it in the curios on your belt slot. That's a bracelet. There's a belt slot. Nice. Okay, now we build this one the same way we did last time. Um, we're just gonna get our little visualization going. And we'll start with the altar. Whoops, get in the right spot. Now, now, the four corners here are, uh, are made... Oh my god. Are made out of the red nether brick, and the rest is regular nether... Crying out loud. Um, the rest is regular nether brick, um, except for the, the eight golden ones. Wow, you can hand mine netherrack almost as fast as you can... Uh, Almost as fast as you can dirt. Now we can apparently use warp planks here, so I'm going to for the uh, the contrast. I think we're finally cleared out of those little mushroom dudes. They were getting me so much I legit swore <laughs> while I was recording here. So all you do is kind of fill up <clears throat> with the altar from around the area. And we can use those Roses of Oblivion um, to replenish out here. I've, I've never gotten the Ancient Trees to work in the Nether. I, I think that just doesn't work. Um, but uh, back in the, uh, I want to say in the Harness and Creating War? Yeah, Rose of Oblivion. Um, what you do is you drop an Ender Eye, and it cons <coughs> excuse me, consumes the Ender Eye, and the rose. So that's, you know, it's theoretically possible to automate the, the... Oh, I don't have any gold. The whole point of the exercise out here is to get more of this tainted gold. This is the only way to get it. Um, unless you get it as a reward. This is, this is the normal way to get it, is really what I should be saying. So I'm going to pop back home, get some gold, when we'll come back. You can find out more about how all this stuff works in the in the Book of Natural Aura, the manual for the mod, which I highly, highly recommend. Um, it's it's fantastic. It's, it just really does the job. This thing, it works just like the one in the overworld does. Um, and you notice when we put it down here, even though it's the same block that we had put down in the overworld, it's got a different texture. The texture changes depending on where you put it. I might make another one and put it down in the end just to see what happens. I'm don't think there's one of these structures for it, but, uh, you know, maybe there's plans. Maybe a little sneaky peek just by doing something weird. Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to transmute some, some more gold here. So back in the overworld, and, uh... I guess the beacon gave the ice and fire heads a regeneration effect? Um, they have hearts now? The heads? Or Skulls, I guess. They're like... I guess they're mobs now. <laughs> like, I was like, what are those three green dots on the map that I kept seeing? <laughs> oh, dear. So our ancient sapling is quite a bit the worse for wear. I don't know why, it's, uh, why these leaves aren't... Uh... Oh, it looks like they are. If they have progress bars, I think that means they're decaying. Um... Well, we'll just let him finish up. Or is still pretty low around here. 
So I thought we'd take a little break from the magic and work on uh, upgrading some of these mechanism machines. Now we've got uh, the Elite, which is uh, the second to last tier. To get these ultimate enriching factories, we need these ultimate control circuits and these atomic alloys. Now, we have refined obsidian growing out our, our silk is making it for us. Anyway, sorry, my cat wanted my attention. What we're doing is, uh, we're crushing this stuff down. I think it threw it all in here and enriched it for us, so that's cool. I'm just gonna grind it down. Um, the next step is gonna be, what do we, what do we need to do? We need to take this and combine it with these. Okay. So let's go ahead, get a bunch of these out. Alright, very cool. And then we'll throw all these in. And we'll make these fancy circuits seven at a time. Pretty cool. Okay, we went way overboard on the, uh, on the diamond, but that's okay. We can just, uh, dump all that out. Now we're gonna need, uh, two of these, I think, or no, one of these for every two of the reinforced alloys. We'll be back in the system. And we got, speaking of nature's aura, we got the offering table as a reward. <laughs> Not too long ago, so that's, uh, that's some, uh, some trouble we don't have to take, which is nice. Okay, atomic alloys. And a questo for that. So now, to upgrade the machines that we have, like if we were to take this compressing factory, and we should have all this stuff made now, right? Ultimate compressing factory. And we're just gonna do the same to all the rest of these. We gotta remember to uh, turn the auto sort on and mess with any of the side configs in it and jack, because those all reset when you upgrade the machine. So that should be a good amount of, yeah, let's see, uh, like all loot bags. We got ten loot bags. I have to get rid of some of this stuff to fit it all in here. Um, put some of this stuff in the old backpack. We'll throw this on a computer. Oh, okay. And that's even some more stuff. Some more quests. So we got a uh, wooden sickle. Silver candelabra. I'll leave that out of advance. Liquid compressor. I want to lose as few of these things as possible. Um, a mining gadget? I don't know what that is. That's cool. Um, starting to get a lot of stuff from Quarry Plus. Which a ritual pedestal? Interesting. Mine? Squeezer? Turn with explosion cell? Obsidian with iron? Well, capacitor? Probably use that. Alright, that's everything at least. A Sky Seeker's Blade. A Sugar Infused Karma. Okay. And then Zulk. Vacuums up items? Huh. That's cool. More shaders, cardboard box, dog food, Neptunian boots. We probably already have that one, don't we? Oh, anything else? Of particular interest? I don't think we have that yet. Oh, yes, we do. Now, most of the rest of the stuff in the mechanism quest line, we're going to make just like we made all of this stuff in advance. Elite ultimate. Um, some of this stuff we will take a look at together, especially the mecha suit. But uh, you know, most of this stuff I'm probably just gonna do off camera. 
that's about all the time I really have today, so sorry for this shorter episode. Hope you enjoyed it anyway. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.